checking fuel pressure on a BMW. This is an N51 engine. I have the covers off. You have a Schrader valve right here. Just take this cap off. And then I'm using a fuel pressure gauge with an adapter and for a Schrader valve. Now you will spray a little bit of fuel as you screw this on. So the Schrader valve opens. You can catch it with a rag if you have one handy. Now the fuel pressure specification for this should be around 70 to 75 PSI, I believe. Earlier cars used to be 3.5 bar, which is about 50 PSI. This is for that fluctuation. I'm going to just confirm that I have good fuel pressure. I've seen a few fuel pressure regulators fail. That would be inside the fuel tank. So that's how you install it. And then you start the vehicle and check your pressure. Here's my fuel pressure reading. Definitely within specifications. Fuel pressure testing at the greater valve, different fuel pressure gauge. Just to double check my readings, I've been getting about 38 psi when I should be getting about 60 psi, and I'm questioning the fuel pressure regulator as my possible failure. I'm on this vehicle, the fuel pressure regulator is not replaceable separate, and the fuel tank would have to be replaced to correct this issue. with an unlock signal. Pressure goes to 4 bar or close to 60 psi. The next test besides a regular pressure test is a bleed test to see if the pressure bleeds down over time. You do this after running the vehicle and the vehicle is up to correct pressure. Just let it sit and recheck it after 20 minutes.